Hey everybody, Nick Pompain with Realty Growth Incorporated coming to you from Valor Mechanical and Tulip Tree Studios located right off of Highway 63 in Stewartville, Minnesota. I wanted to bring this property to everybody's attention because this was truly a diamond in the rough. Uh, when this was purchased, uh, it doesn't look anything like it does today. So today we're going to take a tour and meet the owners of the building and the businesses here inside. What's really great about this whole thing is actually Realty Growth represented both sides of the transaction where we, we represented both the buyer and the seller. And not only that, but these are both family owned businesses. Now that's pretty cool because for me, being a second generation business owner with Realty Growth Incorporated, this uh, makes it a little bit extra special. Here we are with the owner of Valor Mechanical and Tulip Tree Studios, Mr. Ty Bester, who is actually someone that I was able to represent during this transaction of this building. So before we get started, Ty, why don't you tell us a little bit about the two businesses that you have here? Awesome, awesome. Thanks for coming out. Valor Mechanical started in 2012, fully kicked off. And then we found a need for some marketing and Whitney come on board and we started Tulip Tree Studios later in 2013. So with that, as we grew, um, Tulip Tree does full branding, does brand management, does anything from social media. And Valor Mechanical is a commercial residential contractor for full line of furnaces, air conditioners, chillers, controls, service, all of it. We do it all, Nick. Excellent, and I know from a personal experience, not only from personal, but also business, I've used Valor Mechanical. Uh, so please, all everybody out there, if you need someone that you can trust, uh, give Ty a call at Valor Mechanical. Let's just, before we go in and take a look at the building, Ty, let's talk about a little bit of family dynamics uh, in family-owned businesses, because that's something near and dear to my heart as well, because as you know, I'm a second generation family-owned business with Realty Growth. Um, and so what is that like working with family members? Well, I can't say it's not a challenge, <laughs> right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I come from a family-owned business. And then as I uh, progressed into the Rochester market up here uh, in uh, uh, Southeast Minnesota, um, I decided that uh, I wanted to do this on a different basis, um, relationship and family. And so my daughter, she runs Tulip Tree. My son is fully involved in the field. I have uh, about 15 others, and probably six of them are related in some form <laughs> or fashion. So. so it really is all in the family here. So Ty, now, what can you tell us about this building? What was it like when you actually bought it? I mean, I remember the first time that we toured this place, especially from the outside. Can you kind of maybe describe just a little bit what, what you got yourself into? Okay. Uh, what you got me into. Yeah, it's yeah it that's is. true. Okay. <laughs> We started, as you know, we were downtown Rochester in our office. I then had bought a uh, small uh, 55,000 square foot lot by the airport and it just wasn't accommodating our needs. And so what we wanted to make sure that we did is to bring the office and the field together. Um, as I reached out to you, Nick, and you had this building here. And I had looked at it about nine years ago and it wasn't very good shape then no, either. No, no. So, <clears throat> We took a look through it, remember walking through it, oh, yeah. we, we went through it, and I like to tell my wife I'm a visionary, I look through this and I'm going, holy cow, <laughs> And but I could see that it would work. Oh yeah. And so, what we did with the building, it's uh, just shy of 16,000 square feet of total space, so we went in and completely upgraded it for energy efficiencies, and um, gave the... Uh, gave the whole building a good facelift. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And we'll be sure that we post before and after pictures as well. So Ty, can you show us around? I'd love to. All right, let's do it. Let's go check it out. All right, so when we moved into this space, it was offices through the center and we blew them all out. We took those all out. We repurposed all the outside offices. We took all the lighting out. We took all the HVAC out. We redid the complete ceiling. We insulated up above. And then we re, we re um, built this whole center into some of what our cubes currently are. All right, Nick, this is the break room that we have here at Valor Mechanical and Tulip Tree Studios. We have our, our field people, Tulip Tree office, Valor office, and we have many different days where we'll do an omelet feed or uh, do some brisket, whatever it may be, but we like the opportunity to get together with our employees and just have some fellowship. And then as we wrapped up, uh, one thing that I like to do is I like to entertain. So today we'll have the Rochester area builders and they're coming out and they're gonna get to enjoy our patio out back with, with chairs and, and high tops, as you can see, made out of ductwork. <laughs> so 
again, we love to entertain. We like, uh, we like people stopping by and seeing us. We always got the coffee pot on and we always seem like we find something to eat. All right, if you remember, Nick, all of this was dropped in. Yep. It was just sloped down. So we took out all of the loading dock, old loading dock uh, ramp, and then we put new uh, containment walls, at, uh, barrier walls to hold the soil back and poured a new walk. And then we put some curb and gutter out to the front and went to the east to help bring it basically my phase one. Phase two will be a little bit more curb and gutter and then the parking lot eventually. Yeah, I can already tell you, Ty, just from the outside perspective too, it just, it looks amazing. And I see just, it's amazing what paint and some landscaping will do. Well, Ty, we really appreciate the time here today showing us your building. It, it, this is truly a diamond in the rough. And I got to say, from Realty Growth, we really appreciate, uh, more so than anything, the relationship that we've been able to build with you. And we really look forward to, to doing this again with you. Thank you very much, Nick. This was uh, kind of a labor of love, and uh, it was nice to have a spot to come to. I'm glad that we found each other. I'm glad we found this building because it really turned out awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Ty.